Tyler the Creator has presented us with a number of alter egos throughout his thrilling discography. Echoing his inner voice, they've offered us a window into his psyche and have provided narratives of Tyler's personal growth. His initial trilogy introduced us to Dr. TC, Wolf Haley, Ace, Troncat, and Sam, a collective of characters liberated by a series of fictional therapy sessions and conflict at Camp Flogna. Tyler bloomed as Flower Boy on his road towards self-discovery in 2017's album of the same name. And now we encounter Igor, a name usually reserved for Dr. Frankenstein's hunchbacked lab assistant. Igor reveals a side of Tyler we've never met, his love life. Igor is Tyler at his most vulnerable. Let's dive into his story and learn how Tyler the Creator crafted one of the most realized concept albums of 2019. Igor follows its titular character and his messy, unrequited feelings for a boy. It's a concept album where every track serves that underlying narrative. Igor's theme sets the tone. Like a teaser trailer for a series, it lays out the lyrical and musical themes that will appear in some shape or form during the rest of the album. We're in for an album filled with fuzzy synth bumps. But also two seasons of Tyler and Igor's love life. In the first, we'll see Tyler fall in love. The latter season sees him realize it's time to move on. Two lines showcase this really well. We see a version of this phrase return in season one's opener, Earthquake. But instead of explaining what the listener might feel, we begin to learn what Tyler is feeling. Throughout the album's first half, Tyler is riding around chasing a love interest, one that's shaking him up and putting him through heartbreak. The focus of season two comes from a later line. Got my eyes open signaling the turning point that occurs in season two's opener, Puppet, where Tyler realizes the relationship isn't working and must move on. It's a line that also returns in what's good. These two phrases sum up the album as a whole, the emotional journey that occurs in season one and Igor's awakening in season two. Earthquake sets the emotional pulse for the rest of the album. We learn of a lover Tyler depends on, yet is fearful of. Don't leave. Fault is used as a double entendre. Appropriate for a track referencing earthquakes, faults are the breaks that can occur in a body of rock. But it also seems like it might be Tyler's fault that this relationship won't work out. This love interest is on the cusp of leaving him, setting up the conflict that holds together season one. Those feelings pour over into the following track. There's a quick reference here to Call Me By Your Name, a film about a short-lived gay relationship. And I wish you would call me he desperately wants this person's attention as he struggles to tell him how he feels. But the lyrics also begin to hint at some unhealthy dependence. I'm your puppy, you are Tyler has yet to come to his senses as he will later on the track Puppet. But already, he suggests there's a puppet-master dynamic happening within this relationship, which can't be good for Tyler. Exactly what you run from, you end up chasing. The first of comedian Jared Michael's interludes summarizes season one of Eagle. Chasing it and just like... Tyler has been chasing this love interest, but he's presented with an obstacle. There's always an obstacle. Running out of time, running out of time. He's in a race against the clock. The relationship is escaping him, and a split is on the horizon. Tyler was just coming to terms with his feelings in Earthquake. He was learning to express them on I Think. And now that those feelings have gone unanswered, Tyler is drowning. Tension arises in their love dynamic as another obstacle is introduced. Take your mask off. I need a this her has Tyler's love interest living in pretend, living in pretend. wearing a mask to hide his sexuality and avoiding any commitment to Tyler. I know the real yo. Sometimes you gotta close the door to open a window. You can look at this a couple of ways. Something like, in order to move forward, you have to find another way. I think Tyler's gotten fed up with the way he's been going about this relationship. And instead of chasing after his love, he wants to try a new approach. Killing his love interest's girlfriend. I need to get her out the picture. She's really fucking 
looking at my friend. Tyler's jealousy is on full display, and he wants this girl out of the picture to make her disappear like magic. Like magic, like magic. This magic wand could also be a guise for a gun. And if he can't have him, he'll kill them both. The instrumental is also the most sinister on the album up until this point, as Tyler becomes more obsessive. He gives his love interest one last ultimatum. No need for mask, bust through the door. To take off his mask and bust through the door, essentially asking him to come out of the closet. We arrive at the season finale of part one. The complicated love triangle has left Tyler a mess. Caught between wanting to love and the fear of being unloved, he begins to break away. A Boy is a Gun is the only track on the album marked by an asterisk to signify its importance, almost to say, see here for more details. Like a gun, love is a dangerous thing to fool around with. While this partner is great to Tyler, it might ultimately be the death of him. The boy is a gun, and in turn, has the potential to destroy Tyler. You so motherfucking dangerous, you got me by my neck. He holds on to the belief that this might still work out when the time's right. Yet he's impatient to even give it that time. Your fucking mind up, I am sick of waiting patiently. How come you the best to me? I know you the worst for me. Boy, you see that shit that he's aware of these toxic emotions, but still can't resist. He's on a roller coaster of emotions, and then finally, there's an altercation. Oh, you passive aggressive. Oh, you faking your mad. Oh, you wanna go home cool? You better call you a cat. But Tyler still can't let him go. Don't leave, stay right here. Yeah, I want you right near. And winds up back where he started. So why the fuck your ex here? Well, let's see if his epiphany eventually arrives, and he's aware of how dangerous this boy can be. It could be dangerous to, to me. He rejects him, realizing he can be a gun too. I'ma leave it at that. I'ma leave it to friends. Cause the irony is I don't wanna see you again. Tyler is still the puppet, but he's learning to rid himself of those strings. I'm your puppet. You control me. As he mulls over his feelings, he's kind at first, but goes sour at the thought of the girl. Your number one, one on my list. See, I'm Santa. Where's Rudolph? Your pair city. He struggles to maintain his composure throughout the rest of the track, with Kanye acting as his inner voice during the chorus. He advises him to vent on a song, ultimately foreshadowing the arrival of Igor and the newfound clarity from Tyler. But at some point, you come to your senses. Tyler flips the switch, and his Igor persona breaks through full force. If the, cop says my name, bitch, I'm the track is menacing, reminiscent of Tyler's earlier projects. Igor is attempting to repair Tyler's ego and shed the heartache he's been consumed by. His eyes are open. He sees clearly now. I don't know what's harder, letting go or just being okay with it. Gone Gone Thank You acts as a reflection of the love triangle. Started building the bridge and turned it into a fence that my building got tore down all because of your new tenant. The relationship is in the past. Never. And Tyler's happier to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Acceptance sets in. And Tyler doesn't like it, but the girl has won. I just hope to God she got good taste. Put you on some shit you never seen. Tyler understands what could have been. Like, I hate wasted potential. That shit crushes your spirit. But as Igor, he is ready to move on. Our titular character takes the next step in moving forward. I will speak up and realize it's more fishing to see I'm a re -up. He's coping with the loss. So I won't walk around with my head down like I got beat up. Um, Igor is willing to move on. Because I don't love you anymore. But with the romance over, he wonders if a platonic relationship could still be possible with this boy. But this just might be better for us, you know. He'd rather end up as friends than nothing at all. Are we still friends? The sample in the track is from Al Green's Dream, a song about dreams coming true and lasting forever. 
It aligns with Tyler's hopes of being friends with this guy after the relationship has ended. He wants this friendship to work. Pettiness aside. Don't say goodbye, smell you later. As difficult as this is for Tyler, it might be his best option. I don't want to end this season on a bad episode, nigga. Nah. Throughout the first half of the album, Tyler is chasing his love interest. Running away from anything less, he won't settle for just being friends. But exactly what he runs from, he ends up chasing. He spends the final tracks of the album chasing and choosing friendship as his only alternative to staying connected to this love. Choosing the role of his companion. His ally. His assistant. Igor. Igor tells a fantastic story about love and heartbreak. But don't stop here. Start finishing more stories with Audible. Drawing from African history and mythology, Black Leopard Red Wolf is a fantasy epic that follows Tracker, a mercenary in search of a missing boy. He goes from one ancient city to another into dense forests and across deep rivers, battling off creatures to find him. But things really get interesting when Tracker begins to learn more about who he's hunting down. You can get the audiobook for free when you head to audible.com slash middle eight or text middle eight to 500, 500 to begin your 30 day free trial. And check this out. There's also an app so you can access Audible at any time, the gym, in the car or on the go. Audible delivers bestsellers, business, self-improvement, memoirs, and a lot more, all professionally narrated by actors and authors. And if that's not your thing, they've got hundreds of audio-guided fitness and meditation programs, your favorite morning paper, delivered daily, right to the app. They also offer free and easy audiobook exchanges, so if you don't like one title, you can return it for another. And even if you cancel, you keep your library, forever. Start listening with a 30-day free trial. You'll get your first audiobook as well as two other Audible originals absolutely free when you sign up at audible.com slash middle eight or by texting middle eight to 500 500. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like rating. If you loved it, subscribe. We finally got merch up and running, so if you'd like to get a middle eight T sticker or button, you can find the link to that in the description below. You can also support the channel over on our Patreon page and get sneak peeks at new episodes. Again, hope you enjoyed this video. Igor looks like it will top my list for album of the year, but tell me, what have been some of your favorite albums from 2019? But that's it for me. Again, thanks for watching and keep listening.